Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla, and I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today. So I was going through uh, one of People magazines the other day, and I saw this interesting article, and it says is the the best drugstore eye makeup. So experts stock up on these. $10 and under products. So they provided a whole list here of um, of makeup from the drugstore specifically for the eyes and everything is under $10. And this article was in this People magazine. This is the, this is the February 7th um, magazine. So um, yeah, we are going to be playing with these products. I went out and I bought everything that was in here. I did have a couple of items already in my collection, like the e.l.f. Um, with the e.l.f. glitters. I do have those already. And the only thing from this list that I did not purchase was the false lashes, just because I don't wear lashes and I didn't feel the need to spend money on something that I don't personally wear. Um, but yeah we're gonna go through these we're gonna test them on our eyes today and uh, we are gonna see what we think now there is a couple of items in here that i have tried in the past obviously the elf glitters i have tried in the past and i do like them very much and also the l'oreal voluminous mascara i have tried this in the past i tried it a long time ago though so i'm not i don't, I don't remember exactly what i thought of it um but we're gonna try it today and we're gonna revisit my thoughts <laughs> so yeah like i said i bought everything in the list so i have everything here i have the little eyeshadow and i wanted to get the same one that's in the article although based on what i read um i don't think they were just talking about a specific shade i think they were talking about the line because they do have different um colors within this line um but i went with the same one that's in the picture the uh, Maverick. I thought the colors were very pretty. So I have those here. Um, and it said, it says that the palette was $10. I did buy most of my things at CVS. I couldn't find this little palette anywhere. I couldn't find it at Target. I couldn't find it at Walmart. Um, what else did I look? Ulta. I couldn't find it at Ulta either. Um, but I did end up finding it at CVS. It seems like CVS is really good when it comes to um, drugstore makeup. They seem to have everything like past products newer products uh products that don't come out in any of the other drugstores so cvs is definitely the place to go when it comes to drugstore makeup um also i know that cvs can be a little bit pricier than other stores but you guys if you use like coupons and if you use their rewards and if you use um their offers actually the makeup is not that bad because i was able to buy all this stuff for 25 dollars which is crazy because i think my total was like 40 something dollars but i used um they had coupons for revlon and maybelline i believe it was for the yeah for the brow product um they had uh, rewards also I had some rewards so everything came out for $25 the only thing that I bought elsewhere was the mascara I did buy this one at Walmart and it was like six something um, and then I already had the elf glitters so I didn't buy those but everything else I did get at CVS so I bought four items at CVS for $25 that's actually pretty good <laughs> it's a very good so i'm gonna go through each item and we're gonna test it out but first i'm gonna prime my eyes um i am sorry you guys i keep saying the same thing i'm so sorry that i haven't been posting very regularly but uh, like i said in my other videos health issues um and then i will be having surgery in the next week so i'm not going to be able to post for a while but i am trying to film some videos so that i can at least have some stuff to post um while i am feeling better from my surgery because you know the first couple of weeks i'm pretty sure i'm not going to be able to film anything because i've had this surgery in the past and it is pretty painful 
um, so for the first couple of weeks, I'm probably not going to be able to do much, but, um, after that, I'm hoping to at least feel a little bit better to, like, sit down at my desk and maybe film some videos. I do have a bunch of new makeup that I want to test, mostly all drugstore, um, so I'm dying to try that, but I really wanted to film this video because, well, the magazine is newer, and the article seemed very interesting to me. Um, because I want to see why they feel like these products are the best products at the drugstore. I mean, the price is already pretty good. Because everything is under $10. Um, so let's start with the first thing, which is going to be the eyeshadow palette. So for the eyeshadow palette, it says, These shades are packed with pigment and give you so many options. So... And it says the palette was ten dollars and i believe it's accurate i think it was like 10 or 11 dollars we are going to try this it also says it is good for 24 hours but you know i'm not going to be wearing my eyeshadow for 24 hours i am going to go out with a friend today but <laughs> i can assure you it's not going to be like 24 hours <laughs> but i mean it's pretty cool if, if it is true about the whole 24 hours thing I hate when my eyeshadows start to fade as the day goes by, so I'm definitely going to be looking for that while I wear them. Okay, so like I said, this is the Ma Maverick, and it's the Rebel palette, and it's all these pretty, like, mauve shades. They're just so pretty. Oh, and two is going to be the light one right here, and I'm just going to set the primer that I put on my eyes just to have a nice clean canvas and I do have my mirror over here so I'm sorry if I'm looking over here maybe I should put my mirror yes okay so that way you guys can see what I'm doing I also hope that you guys don't mind that I'm in my window but I just wanted to film somewhere different I feel like I'm always at my desk so just wanted to find something different, right? Okay, next I'm gonna go into this pretty, like, peachy pink color. I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. orangey on my eyes which is still pretty but it's just not what I thought it was gonna be <sighs> they do have pigment though I do have to say that okay I'm gonna go into the brown one right here and I'm gonna add that to my crease too I think I'm gonna go in with the same brush actually just to start <sighs> deepening my crease and that shade seems to be the same thing. It looks more mauve and brown in the pan, but it comes out more orange on my eyes. But it does have a lot of pigment. That actually has a lot of pigment. I'm going to take another blending brush, and I'm going to go into... Let's see, I'm going to go into the darkest one, which is this one right here. It seems to be like a brown purple, but again, these shades are not coming out on my eye like they look in the pan. <laughs> so, okay, this one seems to be what it's supposed to be. I'm going to go back to my fluffy brush and just blend so everything looks nice. And I'm not sure what I'm going to bring the color down too. I'm going to start bringing that color down. So 
so this is what I have so far. Now I think I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. I'm gonna try it by itself without wetting the brush first. Oh wow. It has a lot of pigment. Okay. Wow, that has a lot of pigment. And that was without wetting the brush. You kind of have to go gentle on that shade because it seems like it has a lot of pigment and it's super soft. So you kind of have to go very gentle with it. A little bit goes a long way with this shade. Okay. I'm going to go back to my fluffy brush and blend everything together. Get everything nice and blended. And that shade is a little darker than I thought it was going to be. I usually like my lids to be very light in color, but it's okay because we're gonna use the e.l.f. glitters. So I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna grab my blending brush and go into this one right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eye. And the brush still has a little bit of the dark color too, so. And then we're gonna go into that dark color. Put that under the eye as well. It's gonna be a little smoky. Because um, one of the pencils that I'm gonna use is the black, and that's gonna go in our waterline, so I'm gonna be a little smoky. I wear black on my waterline that much anymore. Okay, so that's going to be it for right now. As far as the, the shadows go, we're going to use this one for the inner corner and the brow bone in a little bit, but we're going to move on to some other stuff first. Um, I hope the lighting is not that funky. But yeah, this is what I have so far. The shades perform really nicely. Um, it's just not the best eyeshadow palette at the drugstore, in my opinion. Especially for $10. It is pretty small. Um, you know, I consider ColourPop drugstore. And some of their palettes are like $12. And they're amazing. So I wouldn't consider this the best shadow palette at the drugstore, in my opinion. But it is nice and it did the job. So let's move on to, we're going to move on to eyeliner. So for eyeliner, they said that the All May Nice Ink Black Eyeliner that looks like this is the best at the drugstore for under $10. Um, they said liquid liner, this stuff stays put even when you apply it along your waterline, which is what makes it a favorite of Pro Samantha Lay, I think that's her name, and this says that it's supposed to be um, six dollars at the drugstore, and it just depends on where you go. I think at CVS it was like eight dollars or something change, and then I couldn't find it anywhere else either. Uh, I couldn't find it at Target or Walmart, so we're gonna see why this eyeliner is the best at the drugstore. I like the packaging though, it's pretty cute. It looks like one of those little like vintage pens, you know, with the ink. Okay, I already know that I don't like these types of tips. <laughs> these like plastic large type tips, I'm not a fan of. I already know that, but we're gonna use it. Oh, I have some fallout. So the, shade, the shadows do have a little bit of fallout. So actually, oh my gosh, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the eyeliner first. I'm going to use the e.l.f. 
the elf glitters oh my god how did i forget about those okay so i have two of the elf glitters here i have i have flirty birdie and i have a moon so moon seems to be like a nice like foil type of shade and then flirty birdie seems to be like a glitter so let's see what this says so this says a liquid shadow pro karen body likes this liquid beautiful texture i add it to the center of the lid for dimension so elf cosmetics liquid metallic eyeshadow for five dollars and it seems like this shade is one of these i think the shade in the magazine actually it's moon which is the foil one um but i think that for my look i'm gonna go in with the glittery one because i just want to add a little something extra to my eyeshadow not exactly cover it just want to add a little glitter and i already know i like these these are actually really good and it says that they are five dollars and yes they are five dollars and they are really good i think they are a really good dupe for the stila ones actually and i think that's what they were meant to be dupes for it And they are very, very beautiful. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And I've had these for a while, and they're not even dry. Like, they're performed. Like, if they were brand new. Like, they're beautiful. So I already know that those are really good. And those are really, really, really good. Um, so now I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to use eyeliner. Here we go. We are going to go in with the eyeliner now. So this is the reason why I don't mind these types of um, tips. It's because they're just so thick and my line always comes thick, comes out thick. And then, I don't know, it's just hard to handle. Like even my little tail here came out a little thicker than I like. Just because the tip itself is like really thick. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like that eyeliner at all. In my opinion, it is not the best eyeliner at the drugstore. Um, it's just the wand is too thick. I couldn't even get this one right. The wand is too thick. It dries really quickly as I'm applying it. So when I go over the area over and over again, it starts to kind of get a little clumpy. And I think it has a lot to do with the glitter that's under. But still, like I have eyeliners that go over glitter really nicely and I don't have that issue. This one just dries way too quickly. The wand is too thick. I can't really like make my lines thin the way that I like them because the wand is so thick that the lines just come out thick. So in my opinion, it is not the best at the drugstore. Maybe if they change the wand, maybe the formula would be better, but I just don't, I can't talk about the formula because the wand is so damn big and I can make my eyeliner look the way that I like so let's just move on so the next product that I have here is the NYX pencil and this one it says pencil liner this is a department store quality but at the drugstore price it slides on effortless effort 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 <laughs> It slides on effortlessly before setting for all day wear. So this one, it says that it was $6.50 at the drugstore. 
Um, I think at CVS it was a little bit more than that. I think it was only eight dollars. Um, still under ten dollars. And with coupons and stuff, well, this one didn't have a coupon or or nothing, but um, the other ones did. So, and it's just black. It looks like this. And we're gonna put this on the waterline. I did get a black one, did I? Oh no, I got it in gray. <laughs> I was supposed to get it in black and I got it in gray. Glides on really nicely, actually. Oh, I got it on my wallet. Actually, really nice. I like the color too. I just got a little bit under my eyes. It's okay. I'm going to try to add. Okay, that actually came out really nice. I like that. I like this pencil a lot. Let me swatch it in my hand so you guys can see what it looks like. It is kind of black. It's just, you know, it's gray. It's metallic gray, but it's actually really nice. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. I probably will keep using that. Okay, let's move on to my brows. <laughs> so for brows, they are claiming that the Maybelline Brown Ultra Slim Pencil is the best in the drugstore. So it says, brow pencil. This skinny pencil makes it easy to draw individual hair strokes and the spoolie is a must for blending. And it says that it was $8. <sighs> yes, I believe that it was around the $8 um, at CVS. Here is what the pencil looks like. I got mine in... Um, I think it's medium brown because I couldn't find like anything darker than that. Oh, this one's called soft brown. I couldn't find anything darker than this. Um, it was sold out everywhere. So you can't find this pencil at like Target or Walmart, but like all the shades were gone. Like everything was sold out. So I got stuck with soft brown. So hopefully this will work for me. I always like to go lighter on my brows anyway, so I don't like to go too dark. So let's see. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty nice. It reminds me of the benefit um uh eyebrow pencil that i use all the time it's actually very skinny just like this one too it reminds me a lot of it so the brows came out good i like them um let's finish the eyes so i'm gonna go into the palette again and i'm gonna put this shade right here into my inner corner and also my brow bone Oh yeah, it's a very pretty um, inner corner shade. Very pretty. The nice thing about these shades is that they don't need um, spray. Like they don't need to be wet to work. Like they're very good on their own. It's actually a very pretty shade. I like that a lot. And I believe the last thing that we have left to use is the mascara. So for mascara, it says, this top selling formula can create a range of lash effects from soft to dramatic. And it says it's $9 at the drugstore. Again, I got it at Walmart for $6 and something change. And I have used this one in the past and I think I liked it. It's just, I used it a long time ago. But I think it was a good mascara. And I got it in black. I got it in carbon black. This one is also another one that is kind of hard to find. <laughs> okay. This is another one that is also kind of hard to find. So I think I like very black or black is black, but this is all they had, so. We're gonna go with it. Oh, 
So here is what the mascara looks like. I actually do like this a lot. That mascara is really good. I don't know why I stopped using it, but it's really good and it's very inexpensive. I mean, it only costs like $6. So that's actually really nice. Like I really do like this mascara. I'm probably gonna keep using it. I like the wand. I like the effect it gave my lashes. I can make them, um, I can make them big and fluffy and that's how I like my lashes to look. So I think this is nice and I even like the color too. I thought it was gonna be like not that intense, but it's actually, pretty nice so so far so good like the mascara i have to see how it wears because sometimes when the mascara starts to like you know come down to my eyes i don't like that um but so far so good so okay you guys i hope that you enjoyed this uh, video i had so much fun like trying some new stuff that i haven't tried before things that i haven't tried in a while um and you know just seeing if what the experts in magazines think it's good at the drugstore is actually good <laughs> um i will have to say that yes on certain things and no on others um i love the mascara i thought the mascara was really good and for the price it's also very good um i hated the eyeliner i don't like that eyeliner i can't talk about the formula itself but the applicator i don't like it at all don't care much for it um the eyeshadow palette i thought it was nice would i say it's the best at the drugstore for ten dollars no there's other drugstore palettes out there ten dollars maybe twelve dollars there are a lot better for instance the ColourPop ones just saying there are a lot better i like the eyebrow pencil i thought it was really nice um love the glitter from elf these little guys are really 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 good and they're only five dollars so yay um and so far i like the pencil i'm actually gonna keep using the pencil so there you have it we tried people magazine experts favorite drugstore products for the eyes and i hope you enjoyed this little video i thought that it would be nice to have some to do something different you know um than my unboxings and trying new makeup and all that stuff i thought this was this was a little different and fun and i got to try some products that maybe i wouldn't have tried on my own without seeing them in the magazine you know so yeah give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um if you love unboxings if you love makeup if you love like dollar tree and things like that um then you definitely want to stick around for more videos coming soon uh remember that i will be um getting some of my medical issues taken care of i'm gonna have surgery in a couple of weeks um so i might not be posting as often i'm already not posting as often as i wish i could because of those issues so i'm hoping that once that is done and over with i can get back to um how i used to be <laughs> posting constantly and not so sparse but yeah don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me out, and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye!